Hello. Right. Well, you know how I judge everything. Welcome to another vlog, by the way. You know how I judge everything by how I look when I look on the camera. Just straighten you up. Um, so I saw my hairdresser who I've been going to for years and years and years. And I said, Rosie, I'm really, really, really bored with my hair. I need, well, we agreed it needs a good cut. And I've had a little bit of that Fabioso um, con colour conditioner put in. So it's got much more silvery with a slight bit of lilac. So I've had a bit of a blue rinse. <laughs> I remember that, everyone. Um, and inst I can still have a quiff. Um, it's very clean at the moment, so it won't do anything. But I'm going to become one of those irritating people who keep playing with their hair because she's done a lovely side fringe. So I wondered what you think. And the glasses are matching my T-shirt. So, yes, what do you think? I, I like it. It's different. It looks lovely like that. Now, doesn't that look very 70s? Not so sure with it down, because it needs to be shorter. But um, there's a top tip for you. If you're really, really, really bored with your hair and it's grey, get a colour conditioner or a very mauve conditioner that turns it whiter. Very happy with these colours. And it doesn't cost any extra at the hairdresser. And um, I've got... Sort of a whole new hairstyle, except I have to keep doing that, which can be very irritating. Um, but I love it. I think it's better like that. Now, shall we try it with a scarf? Quick tutorial, because I know you love them. So this is my really easy, quick scarf tutorial. Tie the hair back first, whether you want to leave it tied or not. This is matching my whole khaki theme. One, two, very good for a day like today because it's very windy out. How's that? That's not too. See, I think that looks really nice. Down. Yep. Better. Better. So there we go. A slightly different look. Let me know. Some people are very rude and say things like, very few people actually, that top doesn't go with your skin tone. Actually, I've had my colours done. So I do know what goes with my skin tone. And anyway, who cares? Um, so yes, if you're going to be very rude, jog on, but I'm, I know you lot on YouTube won't be rude. It's people on Facebook and Instagram who tend to be really rude. Um, so what do you think? Thumbs up for a side fringe? It's different, isn't it? And I don't need wispy bits because there's a bit of interest going on. So I thought I would run that past you and see what you think. And it's a good top tip, isn't it? So I hope you like. If you're really, really bored, change your fringe. Right, okay, so um, I've said welcome to another vlog. This week's one, because I only got back on Tuesday night from the Scottish Highlands, it was the most amazing trip. I'm only going to show you a bit this week. Um, I'm going to show you Glasgow, because I had lots of other things that I didn't show you before. Um, but we are going to do clothes in a minute. But coming up... The place I stayed in the night before Goodwood Revival, which you saw last week, or was it the week before? Can't remember because I've been away. Um, was absolutely stunning and is a place where you can do courses and it's really cheap out of Goodwood Revival weekend. Very modest rooms, but wait till you see the house and the grounds. And then I've added a little bit of things I didn't have room for from Goodwood Revival, just a couple of eccentric little bits for you to enjoy. And then we go to Glasgow. Well, I went to Glasgow a day before my friend, I flew up, and then she came the next day by train from Edinburgh, where she'd been spending some time. She's one of my oldest, bestest friends. She's a Brit, but she lived in Australia for, oh gosh, 40, 
40 years, could be longer, 50 years, frightening, where's the time going? So you'll see her towards the end of our bit from Glasgow, then we got on the train, that's when the sagas began. There was a rail strike, it affected the whole country, so we had a lot of buses instead of trains, there was a breakdown, so we were really late getting to the Isle of Skye, but apart from that, it was all, all wonderful. So... This is, um, there are two things I'm going to do. I'll do the boots first. Jane Upton on Facebook. I don't know if you're watching, Jane, but you are specifically about boots for the winter months and how they don't suit you. I have exactly the same problem. I also loathe tights, that feeling of your toes being dragged up or your toenails. So I need to live in a warmer climate. So I'm just going to show you what I do, but bearing in mind, I've got a short torso and short legs, so this isn't for everyone. Um, I'm going to put a skirt on, so you get the general idea. I don't wear a lot of skirts, as you know, so uh, this doesn't go, well, while I'm here, while I'm here, let's do this bit. Um, glasses on to match the t-shirt. You all know this and it's so obvious, but it might be a good top tip for you anyway. Um, I can go, if I wear something like this, I can literally go from walking jack and then I use a bum bag. And this is my new thing. I'm going to start getting more bum bags. Sorry, fanny pack in America. Um, we find that very rude here because I've told you this before. Fanny in England means down there, front bottom. So we get very um, embarrassed if people start going on about our fannies. Um, anyway, fanny back pack or bum bag, that's a bum in England. Um, I think having it match is really nice. So this is me trying to make a bit of an effort on a walk. And um, because Jack's a bit blind and he's got bad dementia and he's got painful back, I can't leave him for too long and I need to walk him just before I go out. So I'm going out, I'll put a old parka over this or the smart green coat over this and then I can go straight to Brighton. So um, these are my dog walking shoes. At least they are in theme. These are the lovely Lucy Dodwell baggies. I lived in these in Scotland. Um, and if I'm really dressing up, I'll wear these beauties. Um, I can't get back far enough to do a boots thing anyway. What was I thinking of? Um, but these are gorgeous when they're on. I, what I'll do is move the camera down. Um, but my top tip, which is so obvious, is if you've got a favourite t-shirt and now it's cooler, you can't wear your favourite t-shirt without a cardigan and an extra top, I'm buying polo necks to go under favourite t-shirts so I can wear them all through the autumn. So what do you think? Good handbag. Bit of makeup on. And Bob's your uncle. And this is a purchase. It doesn't go with this outfit. I think this would be amazing with black or something. A purchase. From Glasgow, we went to a gorgeous art gallery and neither of us can bypass a museum or art gallery shop. How gorgeous is this? And it's vegan. Right, I'll go and get the coat. Coat. So this is my dog walking coat. So this is perfect for wind and rain. It's a very old parka. But snug, 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 and I'll wear my old gold trainers with that. Actually, I've got another pair by the front door. And then when I, and everything's in here. And then when I want to posh up a bit, um, because I often bump into subscribers. So I have to make the effort. Otherwise, they'll take one look at me and go, she doesn't look like she does on the TV, um, yeah, on the video. Um, I always, I think I met somebody recently and I gave her a big hug. I, you always get a hug and I'm always absolutely thrilled. Never worry about coming up to me, but I promise I won't get the camera out. I don't think it's particularly interesting for everyone else. 
Um, so that's my beautiful autumn coat. It actually looks a bit boring like this, doesn't it? This is the trouble. I get things and think they look fabulous and then put them on in front of you and think, oh, not so sure. Um, okay, looks better with the bag. Looks even better like that. And, oh no, I haven't got them. I was going to say, and I bought some beautiful mustard green, mustard green, mustard yellow, um, gloves somewhere in Scotland. I had to buy something from every place we went, so must have been the Isle of Sky. Um, so that's my going out to Brighton outfit, and if I'm not walking miles, I'll put these beautiful boots on. So let's get on with the boots thing. I hope you keep watching though, because you like scenery, don't you? And you like wonderful old English country houses, so you'll get plenty of that. Um, Probably quite a bit of music as well. Okay, right, on with the boots question. But I'm gonna have to go over there and pull these up uh, and put a skirt on. Sorry, it's, oh, do you like the nails? I just felt like something autumnal. Um, and it's not going to be very good over there, but at least it will give you an idea. Right, let's move you a bit. There we go. Oh, there's my yoga mat. Um, so I personally think... Right, you're only concentrating on the bottom. Don't look at the top bit, because nothing goes in, you know, me. So I personally think, for me, being a short ass, this type of boot is just perfect for under trousers and under skirts. <sighs> what I normally do is wear leggings underneath in the winter, have that bear, which seems to be a bit of a trend now, thank God, and a pair of little socks. So with the right outfit, I would wear these. I hope you can see, move that away. But also, look at this. This is, this is what I do. I don't like, but this is just my style. I am not a boots up to the knee, straight skirt type of girl. But many of you watching, it might suit you. It just doesn't suit me. So I hope this helps the lady who said she can't wear boots with anything. Anyway, these are new and I can't wait to wear them. Russell and Bromley. Ugh. These are new for winter. Autumn, winter, look at those beauties. See, that's a boot. That's a boot without being a great big boot. And I've also got chunky biker boots. I love those as well. But you know, that's my style. It's not, it's not everyone's style. And also, I like a little boot like this. This is very flattering. Oh, I found a sock, that's handy. And I think I wore this with my outfit at Goodwood because these are actually vintage. So I would wear leggings underneath that you can't see. And um, so you imagine the dress is about that length. Little socks, but these are, these are quite dainty and it's a good height to flatter your legs. So I do hope, look at the state of me, I do hope that's helped. Jane, I do hope you see it. Um, and I do hope I've answered your comments because I was away for 10 days. Um, I might have neglected you, so please forgive me. Right, so I hope you find that interesting. Let's pull our trousers down. Um, on with the rest of the show. So the, the first bit is this amazing college. Let's move you again. This, you see, I'm gonna to have to keep doing this. This amazing college, there we go, um, that I found 
in uh, very near Chichester. E I keep saying East Dean, West Dean College. Have a look, I absolutely loved it. So beautiful, hope you enjoy. Just look at this. It's the only room I could find near Goodwood. And it's in the middle of a big park. This is stunning. It's West Dean College. And they have- Turn right, then the destination is on your left. I don't know if you heard that, but yes, I've arrived. More later. Look at this. Hard to believe it's a college. Two hundred years old. Wow. Beautiful, isn't it? This is just one little lounge, drawing room. Full of art as well. Look, it's a very famous Dali sofa. How's that for a view? So this is the countryside surrounding Goodwood um, and this area, East Dean or West Dean. I'll take some more footage. And here's the bits I left out from Goodwood Revival. Absolute, like all festivals, absolute nutters abound. Um, so I hope, hope you enjoy it. Well, the first people aren't nutters, um, but the rest of it is very short bits. Okay, beautiful people, look at you. Lovely noise. And how much is vintage? Uh, the coat. The coat. Bag. The bag. She bought the dress, bought the dress yesterday. You bought it's beautiful. Where did you get it? In Goodwood. Excellent. What are you doing? Who? Are you talking to anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Clouseau. The messenger. Uh, the red cockatoo shall be delivered by the barn uh, at eight o'clock. Okay. So good, we want to get back to Russia safely. And finally, we're off to Glasgow. Um, I'm putting this is a two part trip because I wanted to, as I said, haven't had much time to edit. You know, I do all my own editing and add my own music and do all of that, which I love. Um, but I wanted to get this done. So this is our first stop, three days in Glasgow. Jude joined me on the second day. Uh, before and we will end with us setting off to the Isle of Skye by train. What you won't realise is that we got an hour out of Glasgow and a train or something to do with maintenance had broken down 
on the rail track and we had to go all the way back to Glasgow and then wait three hours for another train. So we got to the Isle of Skye. I'll probably repeat myself next week at half past 10 instead of half past three. So we lost half a day. Gutting. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the little bit of Glasgow, our highlights. Well, this is where I had lunch today without the champagne. Believe it or not, the hotel we're staying in, the Grand Central in Glasgow, is um, practically inside the station. This is so weird. I love it. And that's the station where we're going off on our Highlands adventure. And I guess, looking at the sky, you can guess, hello, <laughs> why? I am dressed in a waterproof parka. Told you they were friendly. Forgot to say, we are in St George's Square, the main square in Glasgow. Glasgow at night. Hello, wherever you are. I'm Susie's, one of Susie's best friends and I've come all the way from Australia to travel with her. And we're having a lovely time. And we're in Glasgow, if you haven't found out yet. And we haven't stopped laughing. No, we haven't stopped laughing. We're very good travellers together, aren't we? Where have we been together? Tell them where we've been. We have been to Egypt. Egypt. Rome. <laughs> All over Australia. <laughs> All over Australia. Uh, where else? We've been oh, somewhere else. India. India. India, for God's sake, how did we forget that? We had a wonderful time. And now we're doing Scotland. Yes. Sorry, I should say the Scottish Highlands together. Look, at, it's awesome, folks, up here, up north, north, north. And it's lovely. Lovely people. Friendliest lovely. people in Britain, I say. Right, now we're going there. That is St. Mungo's Cathedral. Cheese from that, but that's nothing more than a car park. 
It's a 1600 car park for the hydro. Oh, look at those trees. Well, they were they were down further down the line. Um, but you may see some as we go along. Oh, well, you know, as far as that. Did you get the gap every now and then? Yeah. Have a look at that on your right now. You're okay. Best, best, best photo opportunity so far. Look at me, Richard. Take a photo of me. On your right. Richard, on your right, that castle house, oh, there you go. from yeah. your hotel. Oh, hotel, yeah. It could be the Inverlochy Hotel, I'm not sure. Hogwarts train, look! Look at those hills. Wish we were going on it. They're going across the Hogwarts, the viaduct. Look at it. So that's it, my lovelies. I do hope, now what else have I got to tell you? Oh yes, I do hope you enjoyed that. Please don't forget to come back next week. Let everyone know because you will be visiting the Isle of Skye and Inverness with us. And it was just gorgeous. They were both gorgeous. It was just the train journeys and bus journeys that were hell. Um, but that's because of the train strikes. Um, right, what's happening? Uh, um, Jack, I was going to tell you about Jack. He's been very poorly, um, great pain in his spine. He's got spondylitis. It's getting worse. He's sort of on permanent painkillers now. Well, he is 16 in, a, in less than two months, um, which is quite old for a doggy. And so I've been to the vet twice. And he's now on monthly injections and CBD oil. Um, he's been a different dog since he came back from the sitters. And he loves the sitters. He's been going for 12 years, but he got very, very, very anxious there. Distressed like you wouldn't believe if anyone disappeared and he didn't know where they were. Well, he's all right here. And he went to the dog clipper today. So... I don't know whether it was the lack of drugs. Anyway, we'll see. I'm not cancelling Australia, but I might have to get my brother to move in for five weeks to look after him properly and not leave him. Um, I'll keep you posted, but he's snoring away. I'm very happy now. Socks the Fox is just... She's not... I haven't fed her for 10 days. She is even bigger. She's like a proper big fox now with this great big tail. Um, I'll try and get a shot for you, but my God, she looks well. She was just a baby when she joined me. I've just realised now she's had two sets of cubs and she's barely, couldn't have been much out of teenagehood, single mum, poor little thing. Anyway, she's very healthy now. And finally, oh yes, I'll be doing, for those of you who join me on Instagram, I'll be doing a live with Dr. Ahmed this week. Um... Hopefully, I think it's Wednesday. Uh, keep an eye on Instagram. I will alert you. But if you have any questions for the aesthetic doctor, natural treatments, like I had my collagen injection, so my own collagen would get to work. If you, oh, and I've got a beauty product to share with you, um, I think next week as well. Mm, yes, anyway, lots going on. Um, but if you have any questions for Dr. Ahmed about what to do, I'm going to ask him about this bit. I can't see how he can do that naturally, but we'll see what he says. That's all I need, I want done. Just tighten. Mm, exercises. Um, so if you have any questions, please ask away. Put them in comments. Otherwise, um, I was going to say, I hope this isn't too short. I say that every week, but it possibly is but I think you'd prefer every week however short to not appearing at all wouldn't you I do hope you agree okay my lovelies and see you next week bye